In this video, we will demonstrate advanced Monte Carlo analysis data handling with the Cameo simulation toolkit, Cameo systems modeler, and um, we'll uh, build on the existing uh, project uh, tutorial and uh, project uh, available here, Monte Carlo analysis tutorial using SysML. Uh, what we are going to perform is that uh, not only that we will uh, capture results, but we'll capture results in the model. So the data will resi reside in the model uh, and uh, also we'll uh, check the uh, other types of requirements. For example, how many cases are out of spec. So we will be able, because the data is in the model, we'll be able to uh, verify that type of data. So for that purpose, we'll go to the model which uh, we have here as a result of the first part of the tutorial. So let us know if you want that model or like a end of this tutorial model, we can send you, uh, please comment. Now here, what we see is the requirement, which says that the uh, system shall be in those ranges, right? The temperature shall be in the ranges. What if we have requirement, which says that uh, gas uh, interior temp, level all right and it would say like a gas interior temp shall be in the level 95 percent of the time shall be in the level between 50 and 50 and uh, 8 F 95% of the time. So we have this requirement which includes multiple uh, things to check. So we derive uh, the compose this requirement, we derive this requirement, and then we will derive, and which we already know, and we'll derive, uh, I guess. Uh, interior temp in scope in scope and uh, we'll say gas in interior temp shall be out out of scope in less than as then uh, 005 cases from one. So we have this one and then we'll derive here. So we have those two requirements in scope. Uh, this requirement is in scope, temp uh, or out of scope to be have bet best language out of scope. Um, and now um, this requirement to have it verified we would uh, need to uh, show that our analysis actually inherit from the Monte Carlo analysis pattern. So this is how, uh, in general, most of the analysis can be uh, inherited from different uh, uh, analysis patterns. So, for example, treat the analysis has its own pattern in the model, which is always available in the library coming with SysML. So now I will take this regular block and we'll type Monte Carlo. Here we see this analysis block. You see that I just selected existing block and this block comes from the profile. You can actually select in containment tree. You will see somewhere in the SysML profile is coming. Uh, it's actually not part of the SysML standard, but it's implementation of Camera Systems Modeler, which extends this. Now we are going to extend our simulation uh, from that inherit by inheriting and now we already can satisfy this property this requirement with out of spec so now we see that it's actually out of spec shall be less than 005 now uh, uh, what else uh, we would need to do is actually to to track those uh, properties during the execution. Previously, we were not tracking. Now we'll need to track the out of spec and we would get the results. 
some modifications of parametric diagram is needed also, uh, but um, that's just slightly. So, for example, here I will go here. Now I will uh, show um, new properties. So those new properties are inherited. You see mean, uh, deviation, uh, uh, and uh, number of runs out of spec. So all of them now I could get as results into the simulation. And um, uh, I care about uh, auto spec, but I will leave it because it is already connected. And uh, in current uh, version, uh, what you, we need to do, we need to kind of extract constraint from here and assign to the mean. So we'll right click, tools, tools, extract constraint from block. See this constraint extracted. I will go back to my parametric diagram here, drag this constraint. Here you see this constraint is extracted. I could actually map it to the properties. So my properties would be out of spec, not out of spec, but mean. Okay. So here I have my constraint mapped to mean, and also I can take this uh, as this is inter interior temp associated also with mean. Let's move this guy here and associate with the mean, right? So this is how I map to the mean, that what it means, it's right. And also it has constraints. So this, this was required because um, this was not working just directly from the requirement. And now uh, what I will do, the last step is, um, actually I will capture my results so uh, I will create uh, another package, uh, which will be a simulation MC results, or like Monte Carlo analysis results. Monte Carlo analysis results. And now you see that I will capture results directly in the model, right? So this is new thing. We'll create results um, instance table, instance table. And we'll set the uh, same uh, classifi classifiers for results as that analysis block. Here I got the properties, and I care maybe about uh, out of spec. That's one of the properties. Uh, number of runs, mean, uh, deviation, uh, temperature internal, uh, and those properties I don't care, let's see. So I will get those results. Now in the simulation config, I need to update this config because now I want that result location would become my instance table. So I would go here, simulation config, specification, and this property results location where we'll specify this instance table. Here you go. That's it. Now if I will run this analysis, MC analysis, same as we had before, I will get result and this result now will include mean and will include out of spec and I will run it as you know like multiple times, like in this case 200 times, I could run like 20,000 times, right? And result would be captured as the instance. So let's run. And you see out of spec is zero, right? So zero cases is out of spec. That's okay. Results are here. Oh, this is kind of mass flow error temperature. And this, this is actually in temperature and interior. This is what we care about. And I got results. And the only thing what I see is that empty instance table because I didn't set the scope so that uh, automatically instances are not visible here. I need to set the scope here by drag and dropping. And I see, you see out of spec 65, so it's not suitable. And you see like a gas interior temperature shall be out of scope in less than 0.005 cases from one is not satisfied. And also mean is not satisfied. And this is temperature interior is also not satisfied. So all the data is here. Now I can run again. Let's uh, maybe, uh, yeah, let's run again the same analysis. Let's see what happens. Mass flow rate, this is just initial property. This is another initial. This is what we are tracking. 
still will be bad, right? Zero sixty. And this is also incorrect, incorrect based on those requirements. Let's try one more time and then let's change something in order to get positive results. It's even worse, right? Even worse. So we decided to come back and update requirements because that was uh, not possible to achieve. So let's say this is zero one, and let's see what's what will happen now. This is initial properties. So we see that. Uh, results are actually correct right and um, this is the last simulation which we get results correct oh that that reminds me that now we updated requirement but we didn't update the constraint right so we have extracted constraints so we need to update it that's why the mean is not uh, passed here and this is still invalid because the constraint uh, is between uh, Zero, zero, 005 and 0 right so now we can go back here and update this constraint so to get the results correctly so let's come back here go to here and this constraint is go to here this constraint is here one i will come back to this diagram and uh, i'd better not to run it uh, because the results might change right so but at least validation would not be specified here incorrectly now um, what else uh, do i want to uh, update here maybe i want that this requirement would be not zero zero seven five but let's say 65 and this will be 35 percent 35 so in that case maybe we'll get positive result let's run again mass flow error interior temperature let's come back here to this instance table and we see much less cases now failing and this is the last execution number is here so you see that those uh, mean uh, temperature interior are identical so they are both okay and this is the result which now it's also okay because we updated requirements so this is pretty much uh, what we can get uh, as additional advanced capability of the resource uh, results of the uh, of monte carlo analysis handled in the model not uh, only outside of the model as we had before so this gives the ability to verify requirements uh, on the mean and out of scope uh, which uh, we didn't perform as, as especially out of scope before